Is Amber Heard really going to jail? Following her defeat in the defamation trial against Johnny Depp, perjury claims were investigated. On June 1st, the defamation lawsuit between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard was settled after 52 days of lengthy trial testimony, cross-examining, and counter-arguments. The jury returned a verdict in Depp's favor, awarding him substantial monetary damages. So stay tuned and we'll fill you in on everything you need to know. Hello and welcome to another fantastic video from Flashy Celebrities. We'll explain why Adam Waldman confirms Amber Heard will get 14 years in jail in this video. But first, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to ensure that you don't miss any of our videos. Let's get this started. However, many trial viewers were puzzled as to whether Heard would face additional legal charges and possible imprisonment. To be clear, this is highly unlikely because the lawsuit was based on defamation claims from both parties, making it a civil case. However, the actress is still facing charges in Australia, where she was charged with perjury for illegally bringing two dogs into the country in 2015. During her testimony in an Australian court, the actress allegedly lied about importing Depp's two Yorkshire Terriers. Amber Heard's perjury allegations Will she be found guilty? After the trial, the jury unanimously determined that all three of Johnny Depp's claims against Amber Heard in his defamation lawsuit were true. They awarded his compensatory damages of $10 million and punitive damages of $5 million. Meanwhile, the jury agreed to Heard's second count of claims, awarding her $2 million in compensatory damages. Technically, both parties won their respective lawsuits against each other, with Johnny coming out on top. To answer the question raised by many Depp supporters, Heard is unlikely to go to prison unless she's charged with perjury. Insinuated in their closing arguments that the Aquaman star had lied in her testimony. However, these were merely allegations made by the attorneys during their address to the jurors and should be treated with caution, unless and until it is proven that Heard lied under oath in court and committed perjury, no further legal proceedings for these allegations will be pursued. Furthermore, because perjury convictions in civil cases are extremely uncommon, Heard will not face jail time even if charged with lying under oath. If Heard is found to have committed perjury during the trial, the $2 million compensatory damage award she is expected to receive from Depp could be thrown out because it would disprove her ex-attorney husband, Adam Woolman's defamation claims. The 36-year-old actress claimed in court that Woolman's statement, which called Amber Heard's allegations hoaxes, had harmed her career. As a result, if Heard is charged with perjury, her claims against Woolman will be proven false. While the actress' defamation lawsuit against Depp has concluded, she is facing perjury charges in Australia. According to local media, Australia's Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment has reopened the investigation into Heard, who is accused of smuggling two dogs into the country in 2015. Foreign pets must be quarantined for 10 days under Australian law. However, Amber Heard did not declare the dogs during the immigration process at the time. She later claimed in court that Depp's former assistant was supposed to have arranged for the dog's entry into the country. Kevin Murphy, a second assistant, backed up these claims. Murphy, on the other hand, recently admitted that he lied during his testimony at the time. This calls into question Amber Heard's honesty during her 2015 trial in an Australian court. If Heard is found guilty of perjury in the Australian High Court, he could face a sentence of up to 14 years in prison. Depp's lawyer attempts to undermine Heard's credibility. The cross-examination of Heard began late Monday afternoon and resumed on Tuesday morning. Camille Vasquez, Depp's attorney, attempted to undermine Heard's credibility by pointing out alleged inconsistencies in her story. On the Late Late Show, Vasquez displayed photos of Heard. Heard was with James Corden following a fight that Heard claimed left her with a busted lip and black eyes. Heard previously stated that her makeup artist covered her mouth injuries with really thick, super heavy matte red lipstick. And when Vasquez pointed out that no redness or swelling could be seen in said photos, Heard responded, you should see what it looked like under the makeup. Vasquez pressed Heard on her delayed settlement donation, citing a 2018 interview in which Heard stated she donated the entire amount to charity. Heard stated on the stand, I intend to fulfill my obligations, but claimed she couldn't because of the lawsuits. Heard questioned Vasquez on Tuesday about the timeline of events that allegedly culminated 
and the liquor bottle assault, which Heard had previously described as hazy for her. Heard's attorney appeared to be skeptical that Heard had not sought medical attention after the incident, and Heard confirmed that she had not. The jury was shown excerpts from the couple's love journal, as well as additional photos of Heard, images from a photo shoot Heard did in the Bahamas sometime after Depp allegedly assaulted her on December 15, 2015. Those photos show no bruises, despite the fact that Heard said they were taking about two weeks later. Vasquez emphasized Heard's drug and alcohol use, accusing her of attempting to have the license of the couple's former nurse revoked before she was scheduled to testify. The court heard audio in which the couple repetitively taunt and belittle each other, making fun of each other's film and television roles. Heard repeatedly invited Depp to suck my dick, and he referred to her as a spoiled fucking brat. Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? Vasquez inquired about Heard. Heard flatly denied it. Depp's attorney displayed a photo of Depp's bruised face taken during the couple's honeymoon when, as Heard previously testified, Depp has wrapped his shirt around her neck. Heard stated that she had seen the photo before and that he was not injured, but that the version shown was photoshopped. Heard's previous arrest for domestic violence was cited by Vasquez. Tasia Van Rie, her then-partner, claimed the incident was a misunderstanding and the charges were quickly dropped. Johnny Depp isn't your only partner you've assaulted? Vasquez questioned Heard, who denied over-assaulting a colleague. So who is Adam Woolman, and why did a jury award Amber Heard $2 million in damages? The jury in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation case returned on Wednesday, awarding the Hollywood actor $15 million in damages and his ex-wife $2 million in damages. Many people are perplexed as to how someone who has effectively lost a case can be awarded such a large sum of money in damages. This has focused attention on Adam Woolman, a lawyer who previously represented the Pirates of the Caribbean star. The jury found Woolman to have defamed Amber Heard in his settlements to the Daily Mail newspaper. Woolman told the British news outlet that Heard called police to their apartment in May 2016 as a hoax. As stated in an article published on April 8, 2020, Amber Heard and her friends in the media used fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and a shield, depending on their needs. They've chosen some of her fabricated sexual violence facts as the sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Quite simply, it was an ambush, a hoax. Wolman said, A visibly dejected Heard expressed her breakup in response to the verdict. The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. She said in a statement, I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence was insufficient to overcome my ex's disproportionate husband's power, influence, and sway. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. She continued, It's a disappointment. It reverts to a time when a woman who spoke up and out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It undermines the notion that violence against women should be taken seriously. So who exactly is Adam Wolman? Wolman is a well-known American lawyer who also works as a lobbyist. He previously represented Depp in his divorce proceedings. After a judge discovered that he was leaking private information, he was fired from Depp's legal team. As Depp's defamation case against his ex-wife gained international attention, an old Amber Heard tweet went viral in which she was seen mocking Wolman for his height after the lawyer claimed that her claims of domestic violence were a hoax. Yes, Mr. Woolman, I may be wearing makeup on this occasion, but you will still be short on every occasion," Hertz said in a tweet. Hertz tweet was in response to Woolman's social media post, which was removed by the microblogging site after his account was suspended. Woolman took to Instagram to respond to the suspension of his Twitter account, writing, "...unpopular ideas can be silenced, and inconvenient facts can be kept hidden without the need for an official ban. The press is highly centralized, and the majority of it is owned by wealthy men who have every incentive to be dishonest on certain critical issues. Waldman has over 35,000 Instagram followers and his account is verified with a blue tick. Waldman has also served as the chairman and president of the Endeavor Group, a Washington-based firm that provides innovative consulting solutions that are specifically tailored to the needs of each client. Waldman responded to the jury verdict in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard case on Instagram, writing, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are entangled in an unbreakable web of mutuality, bound together in a single garment of destiny. What affects one directly affects everyone directly. MLK Jr. Wolman is married to Barbara Stern, a German aesthetics doctor and the CEO of the Dr. Barbara Stern skincare line. The lawyer is the father of four children, three daughters, and one son. His net worth is estimated to be around $2 million. That's all we've got for now. Thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts in the section below. Please spread the word and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this. See you in the next video.